Hello and welcome to the episode 126 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Short and sweet episode today with all concerts, the completion of I'm Only Sleeping and the recording of You Never Give Me Your Money. As usual of late, we open with the 1961 residency of The Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, at the Top Ten Club. It was the 6th of May and the city was Hamburg, West Germany. Same city, same business in 1962. The Beatles, still with Pete Best in the lineup, performed at the Star Club for their third residency on the Alb. In 1965, having concluded their work on the exterior sequences for Help, the Beatles left the Androbus Arms Hotel in Amesbury to return to London. On the 6th of May 1966, the band put more work on I'm Only Sleeping. The session, held at the EMI Studios in Abbey Road between 2.30 pm and 1 am, saw the completion of the song, with the recording of vocal of dubs by John, Paul and George, and then with a mono mixdown session from 1 to 2.15 am. Finally, the main story of this episode. In 1969, the Beatles returned at the Olympic Sound Studios with engineer Glyn Jones, working between 3 pm and 4 am. The focus of the session was a totally new piece, one that hadn't come out during the Get Back sessions, You Never Give Me Your Money. In addition, it must have been the first day in which the possibility of putting several short songs together to create a collage was finally embraced by the band. It is not clear when the idea was originated, but it is this session that proves that it had been formulated at this point. Most of the songs available and recorded so far, after the January sessions, were too small to stand on their own, and it made sense to create one piece putting all the different bits together. You Never Give Me Your Money, written by Paul McCartney, served as a commentary on the growing business problems that the band had to face, and on the rift that had been created between the different Beatles camps as a consequence. After a short rehearsal, the band recorded 36 takes of the rhythm track, featuring Paul on piano and guide vocals, Ringo on drums, John on the distorted electric guitar, and George on the sweet-sounding electric guitar. All the takes ended abruptly after the All Good Children Go to Heaven part, showing that the song was meant to be a fragment. Take 30 was chosen as the best, and a rough stereo mix concluded the session. And this stereo mix might also conclude the episode if it wasn't for my reminder to please visit www.simonmas.com support and give me a hand to produce more music-related content for you to enjoy. How? Well, but that's what you'll find on that webpage, no? For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.